What's up, guys? It's Tenkosh, and today in Super Snail, we will talk about progression, when to go to the next island, and how to efficiently progress each area. So as a free-to-play player, I've reached some things in the game that I'm not happy about. First of all, I'm running out of food and black tadpoles. Things are getting very expensive, and you can spend your resources pretty fast. So yeah, that will be like progression and tips probably video. I'm almost done with the Yamato. I'm fully done with the choreo and i will tell you that your best time to go to the next area where you finish all those uh trades uh, and and bonuses that you can get in each area so when you buy everything you're good to go that will be the best spot honestly and uh for the yamato i tried to go here earlier and i got totally decimated i couldn't kill the bosses i got issues but the good thing about yamato area that you get the nunjitsu here that will make you a lot a lot stronger so sometimes it's a good idea to go here earlier to start getting those nunjitsu bonuses so you can go through this area faster moreover you will get additional rewards from those card redemption some equipment that's really good so yeah uh the earliest time when you should go to yamato i think it's about 60k power because at that point i was kind of okay managed to kill a few mini bosses and get some rewards but I wasn't still efficient. The best times uh, I had here, the good run started at like maybe 100k points, but in order to get 100k points, you still need to do uh, a lot of things and get a lot of rewards. Now let's talk about progression in each area, which of those bonuses you would like to get. There are basically two tabs in each area, at least right now. The first one is Yamato Intel. The first one is Area Intel, and it basically makes rewards on your journey more efficient you will get more per run basically and get extra stuff i advise to focus on this early on because that will allow you to get more stuff and make your runs more efficient moreover the most important thing in each area is unlocking the new clues to the new areas so you can go to the other areas get better rewards and moreover you will get more intel per specific area so that's really really nice side bonus nodes are locked usually in order to unlock them you need to unlock things that are next to them so if we will get this one let's learn it bam we will unlock the last one in this area bushido that will give a special incident that might be good or not it's really expensive so i haven't found any special incidents to be that useful so i'm trying to focus on the main route over here uh getting some bonuses that are really important for yamato it will be getting the soul of fire getting the genji set that's really nice and basically yeah that's uh the main things this yamato apostle dominated attack bonus is really good as well when you defeated some apostles so uh something like that another tip i can give you if you want to progress to the new area when you just want to unlock it in order to get some extra intel for example like you're good but you want to get more intel to unlock the new area don't do the full rush over here don't go over all areas go through the current areas one by one that will allow you to get extra rewards extra intel and extra bonuses that you can use later on in order to become stronger before you will reach the end boss or end of the run some missions here are pretty complicated like this one are we good did we got the lucky we got lucky that's nice usually i don't guess those so yeah uh this way you can get the rewards and actually upgrade your snail because if you will get in the end of the run you can't go back to your menu here go to your snail get them some, some things here upgrade some relics uh you will be done and you will have to start over in, the, in order to get to some specific area and you can save up enough intel to get the reward that you need before you reach the end so it will be more efficient if you are lazy like me or you are kinda yoloing, you go all in. That way you can go through all entire area till the end. Exploration ends, our snail is hungry, we got plenty of rewards, but not enough to satisfy our hunger. <laughs> so for our case, for example, if we would do it slow, we can, if we can defeat the samurai right now, we could fight the final boss. But right now, if I will defeat the samurai, I'm not sure if I will though. Oh, he have a henchman, nice. 
I wouldn't be able to fight this one because I already finished my expedition. So let's see what this Bushido incident is giving us. So yeah, before leaving the area, before fighting the boss, do everything on the map, do everything that you can in order to get all the rewards. And then there are two options. You can go fight the bosses if you are sure that you won't be able to progress or get some bonuses here when you can. Some of those can be make you way stronger. So that might be useful. Like for example, this injection will give us additional damage and might become a better option for us we defeated the henchman no problem that's good and now we will face the boss and i'm not sure if we'll be able to beat him we won't be able to dominate him for sure each boss have weaknesses basically that's the stat limit when you get it you will uh, make enemy way weaker and it will be way easier to fight it so probably if we get enough stats for it we will be able to defeat it let's take a look we're using the skills all right Fire oh my god that's a lot of damage right here let's go so it's doing pretty decent damage but since we damaged it quite a lot already we should be able to defeat it no problem i think there we go yeah critical strike we won on round three that was a hard tough fight but yeah as you can see we can't really find the last apostle if we would be going like slowly as i told before we would be able to fight it right now it's not an option sad yes but that's what you get for hurrying up too much after your fights are done you go in the rewards and go area by area starting from the lowest tier so the lowest redemption you get everything you can then you go to the highest tier and just like that keep in mind that don't forget about it that you can combine those things in order to get to the higher tier and the one where you get the rewards i advise you to start doing hard upgrade here redeem there we go you will get the maximum amount of those don't worry though uh they cost same amount of beat that pulse wherever you get the highest tier or the lowest tier it will be the same sometimes it's a good idea to rush for the highest tier reward like for the most expensive one because sometimes you might not save up enough of those at some point so it's up to you to be honest always check those bonus rewards for additional items because sometimes you might miss them and that won't end well for you i advise going for equipment gear and that kind of stuff and focusing on sales later if you don't need them once again, I'm not summoning uh, lottery straight away. I'm wa waiting for the event, so it's not necessary right now. If we will upgrade to this, uh, let's see, we will get five of those. I think it's a good idea. So we will skip the, that tier of reward and get to this tier. And for six of those, we'll be able to get scrolls or beat that pulse both of those are really necessary for us yeah let's get let's get this let's get the scrolls we'll be able to do summon because of this and we are good honestly the best practice like we'll be getting those tickets because it's like maximum reward so you won't have any leftovers because those are not efficient but uh, i have my own judgment here what to go for <laughs> if you already unlock deadly iron ball it's not really the best investment to level it up too much it costs a lot it gives you two percent damage so yeah I, that's how i spent most of my ted poles for nothing not a good idea leave it for later and there we go after the run you will convert the excessive stuff into the rewards and exploration value here is so much better than in Corio right now because because we're good there we go we got additional rewards for speeding up all that stuff nice if it's your first run per day you will meet assassin that you will fight i already did that yesterday and now we can go for the different run let's open the cars before that maybe we'll get something cool oh nice we got the new relic and look at that we got the epic book part that's very nice uh what about this one do we get anything new yeah we get the ship mayflower that's nice even more relics oh that's a really good relic it will give us attack rush and beat that pulse gain so let's go and max it out as much as we can that's really really nice can't afford it but yeah in any case i'm not talking about the character growth here i'll make a separate video on that that's way slow and longer supplies what i wanted to tell you that even right now i'm running out of food already that's why you don't really want to rush all the time because if you are if you don't have enough food your rush like i did here like going through the whole area in one go won't be efficient because you won't have food for other runs and getting extra food will cost you ted poles which is not good as well so plan accordingly be smart about it let's go to the Korea. i will show you how it's happening for me Korea is really easy um everything is completed here for the intel i haven't collected everything yet so we got some additional things but i focused on the agent training a bit because it gets stats 
and once again focusing on this thing is very important on the main route but yeah even right now i haven't finished all the additional tasks here that will give us extra bonuses so i will have to do few more runs through the curio a bit later but for now it's really inefficient because i'm not getting enough rewards from those runs my uh, value of those runs are about um 150k while we get 350k in the uh, japan area so yeah you can recall from any area at any time that's uh, a really easy thing to do and you will get some rewards if you if you got some from the run another thing before going to the area make sure that you equip yourself with the right equipment because some of those have some area specific bonuses and if you uh, have a lot of equipment you can get the right things for the right runs specifically your main focus should be your area bonus equipment so we got the one for the courier that might be make it or break it but for now since we are done with that area uh, the main thing for us will be japan area so we should make sure that we equip all the items for this area moreover you get your uh, form specific gear that will give you some extra bonuses in the exploration that might be good but for me it's a bit too weak so i can't really afford it and in order to craft it i need more stuff which i don't have and i think form gear will be useful later on when you will decide which is your favorite form because crafting the gear is really expensive so yeah before the run make sure that your compass is equipped with the best stuff i think we can change something right now mm, that's a debatable change it will give us a bit more rush but this one will give us more intel and i think this is way better so i'll go with the old one so yeah after getting some relics always check if you get the right relics for your run for example i changed lotus chalice to the thinker right now it gives it gives a bit less art but it gives more beat pole drops and uh exploration bonuses from the compass so yeah Make sure that you get the best stuff. You can upgrade the stuff that you have in the compass later. And I advise you guys to focus on those relics first. So make sure that those things that you have here are the highest tier. Because uh, they will give you more stats. And that will be might be not that important. But it's nice. Moreover, as you play the game, you might be able to unlock the different setups. So for now, I can make one setup for Koryo and another for uh, Japan area. But honestly... I just use one because I don't have enough uh, equipment right now. So yeah, the main idea is don't rush too much. You might want to go in the new area where, when you just unlock it to get the initial bonuses. But then you will have to go back to do a few more runs in your old areas to get stuff from the older areas. Holy shit, I'm lucky today. I'm getting the new stuff. That's nice. What's this? Civilization Mirage. What the hell is that? oh i've got 150k power so now i can clear those things let's challenge i'm curious so we'll be fighting some relic things here and as we defeat them we will get some bonuses so yeah i'll make a video on this a bit later but that's really nice that will give us some extra bonuses and i guess will be really good what's this hello every orange relic have a mirage and but this one snail fame is higher ritual requirements are lower okay getting the bonus is nice so yeah while getting to that new area might be tempting you should take it slow because even getting the bonus that you get for going to the new area might not be that crazy so when we get to the new area we get something but it will cost you i mean there is nothing bad in trying the new areas but uh you won't be able to do the long runs in the new areas that's what i wanted to say so if you're playing during the daytime you can explore the new areas where the runs will last for like a couple of hours and uh, during the night you want to put your snail to the longer runs where they can farm more to get the most efficiency per hour so yeah guys that's about it for now and i hope that will help you to understand when to go to the new area and how to spend resources during your run on the area let me know if you have any thoughts and additional tips for the newer players down below in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel that will help the channel greatly and yeah you can check out the video description for the links i've got my discord there ld players who can play this and other mobile games on the pc my other youtube channel social media and game vault link with super snail codes that you can use in order to you know progress better <laughs> other than that guys thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand for shout have a good one bye